Hey guys, we're back for round two, but this time in Moncton. A day. Scott, I'm trying to. Oh. All right, welcome back, guys. We're gonna talk about our weekly routine on our Saturday mornings most mm -hmm. of the time. Sometimes if we have a vacation day, we get to go earlier in the week. Yeah. But this is our regular Saturday routine. We get up in the morning and we head out and we game hunt. Yes, we do. We wanted to do this because we did one for PEI and we're like, uh, we've never done one for Moncton. And the yeah. PEI one was fairly successful. People enjoyed it. We enjoyed it. Yeah. And we're like, why Why aren't we doing one for Moncton? This is our stomping grounds. This yeah. is where we find most of our deals because we're out there. We're, we're, we're out there. We're every, out there all the time. Almost every day. and Sometimes every day. Everybody yeah. at that wall, all our regular stomping grounds, they're, they, they're all getting to know us because well, Jen talks to them a lot. I do. The first stop we always make is at the parlor because it Close. is a hop, skip, and a jump from yep. home. We have walked there plenty of plenty times. Of times yeah. Sometimes I'll walk there while Scott's working at night. I'm like, well, I might as well walk to the parlor. And I've gotten some good you deals. Found, you found some hard to find yeah. games. Just, it takes walking in at the right minute. Yeah, That's oh, what yeah. it takes. And I and can't even tell you how many times we've bought something at the parlor. And I go to the counter and he says, I literally just put that on the yeah. shelf a couple minutes ago. Yeah. Yeah. I can't even tell you how many times that's Need to happened. be there at the right time. We seem to have a lot of luck. We're not going to tell you one because you'll want, you'll go there too. And then you'll get all the luck. And then we won't get any luck. I'm sure On so. Fridays. Other, Usually other on Fridays. Other people are doing way better. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Parlor. That's. Yep. Uh, we go in there all the time. It's a bigger pawn shop. It is. It's kind of, it's almost uh, like a retail now. Yeah. 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 Uh. A lot of traffic goes through there, so a there are lot. a lot of games coming and going, like, all day. Every day, you could go in there and see different things. And so. it's a fair, like, it's a, sometimes you go to pawn shops, there there are levels of cleanliness in pawn shops. Parlor is <laughs> parlor very is clean, very, nice. yeah, very yeah. well kept. Um, from the parlor, we usually go to Nerdful Things. Yep, down and the road. Down the road. That. Great place. It's the cleanest. Yeah. It, is, it is very nice. It too. is the nicest. Uh, they are fairly new. Yep. And but we love it there. It's a one it's, of the co-owners also has a t-shirt business that you've heard us talk about. Yeah. A few times on the show already. Yeah. Uh, I shirt myself. I shirt myself. It's such and a catchy he, title. Uh, yeah. He does custom t-shirts. So yeah. Pretty much anything you want. But it's not. It's not a huge store. But they no. make the most of their square footage. Yep. It, they have a so, very good selection. They really do. I found, like, because after, or we're still in the midst of COVID, but yeah. it's not bad around here. No. That, we've fared. Uh, the video game me. selection in town was, like, bought out. Like, oh, yeah. There's still a couple places that are struggling that don't really have a huge inventory like they normally yes. have. And uh, I found that Nerdful Things was one of the best. Like, I don't know if it was because they had just opened up before COVID all started. Maybe. So they already had stock kind of, you know, ready to come in. Yeah. I don't know what it was, but they were way ahead of the game. Yeah. You know, and uh, but one of the being... owners has been in the business for a long time. Yes. And knows a lot of people, too. Randy is very well known. I think he's well liked. Yeah. And so I think people go to him and he's very easy to talk to. We sometimes will spend more time just in there talking to Randy and Travis than anything else so yeah when i ask i always ask Can, do you mind if we film here and they're like yes yeah. absolutely everybody yeah everybody yeah. we asked everybody if we could film yeah and everybody had no everybody was super yeah. good about it so from there i think we went we normally either hit matt's media or moncton pond depending on which turn i take <laughs> yes but we also ended up going to oh um uh, Treasures yeah. Pond. We don't typically stop there because they're open odd hours and they're not necessarily always open when we go by. Yep. And it is a little bit cramped in there. The owner is super nice again. Yep. And the bonus yep. to that was going in there and seeing Nibs. They Nibs have a the store kitty and I was playing with the cat while Scott looked at games. I couldn't help it. 
I have three cats here, and I'm like, I think she'd be sick of cats. What are we done with cats? But then I go out and see yeah. another cat, and I'm like, come yeah. on, Kitty. Cat, let's bring you home. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was a Well, cute, and they're full things, thing. though. I've gone in there a couple times, and they have this big oh, puppy dog puppy. there. Yeah, yeah, he's cute, but you can't stop petting him because he'll just. Oh, run. he's just he'll... pet me, pet me, pet me, yeah. pet me, pet me. He follows you around. He's super he's friendly. He's super cute. Really chubby bulldog, right? Oh, like, yeah. Yeah, he's oh, yeah. around. He's just as thick as he is long. There. Oh, yeah. So, so yeah, we went there because we had made our rounds a little bit quicker than we thought we were going to. Yeah, some days we get around faster than others. Yeah, it depends yeah. on how much I talk. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we we went to uh, Pond Treasures. Yeah, uh, Treasures, Treasures Pond. Pond whatever. Yep. Yeah, one or the other. And then we went to Matt's Media. We did. Yep. So that's just over in Riverview. Yep. It's a uh, town of Riverview, and it's very close. You just. Over the river, over the river, across the bridge. We mm -hmm. didn't, we didn't swim it. Scott would sink. Yep. Ruin all your games. I get a lot of, games. I get a lot of cool T-shirts there. Like we you'll do. find some like, uh, like Metallica or like some. Yeah. My one of my last videos, I had the beer pong one with the lady on the front. And Dennis really liked it there. Dennis really liked it. I found liked that T-shirt there. Yeah. yeah, I've gotten, Stuff I got my that. Harley Quinn T-shirt yeah. there. That's in our last video that we just put out. Mm -hmm. And I've gotten a few t-shirts there, too. I yes. really, really like it. I think it. you actually might have had more luck I I may have. Because men just wear their t-shirts out. They're not yeah. trading them. No, whatever. no, no. Like, I will wear You can this. get secondhand clothes all the time. I do, all the time. And that's, like, my bread and butter. I hate buying new clothes. I'm like, $20 for a t-shirt? Really? Can I get it for 5 That's what I want. Because <laughs> then I can spend $15 on games. Like, you know, yeah. they're your $20. You have I'll five on a t-shirt, 15 yeah. on games. Also at Matt's Media, you're going to be able to find a lot of records, uh, CDs, mm -hmm. A-tracks. Like, when it's media, it's oh, media. Yeah. They got it's media. DVD, Blu-ray. Yeah. Like, we walked in there one time, and they always had music going. He's like, do you like the sound of that? I'm like, yeah, it sounds really good. He said, that's an A-track. I'm like, bullshit, that's an A-track. Yeah. He said, no, that's an A-track, man. He showed me the machine right in there, and it was beautiful. Is it eight track? Eight. I don't know. <laughs> I put it up. It was like I was a little tiny kid there when oh. the eight tracks were coming out. I, I always used call to play. A. Oh, they might be. Eight. I, I think they're eight tracks. Yeah. But I used to play Did with. They call eight tracks because they're gonna only fit eight songs on there. Maybe. I don't know. I used to play with my grandmother's all the time. She had one in the living mm -hmm. room, and I used to play with it all the time. I remember we had one. That, well, everybody remembers. Yeah. No. No. Not most people aren't right. What's an eight track? <laughs> What's an eight track? Yeah. Well, now vinyl's coming back in. I'm wondering yeah. when those those things are going to come back in style. Yeah, exactly. So we went from Mass Media. Yeah. Then we headed back over across the river again, and we hit uh, Moncton Pond. Moncton Pond. And this is just a little store. Uh, yep. They're not open on Sundays. They're not open late at night. We always go every Saturday. But we walked in there on a Thursday, and they're like, like what's going on? This is early. <laughs> but we always talk to them. I love going in there. It's yep. probably... I say this every time, it's one of our favorite spots, but I think Moncton Pond is my favorite spot to go. I, I love talking I, to both of them. Yes. The owner, and There's, then he always has a friend working with him. He's al he's always really generous with his deals he gives oh, me. Oh, yeah. And I, al he's, like, I like supporting the smaller businesses. I do, too. He's a smaller business, sir, and I... I if I'm gonna get some stuff to fill my collection, like there are a few pieces that we got were that are rare or harder to find yeah. stuff. Yeah. But when I want to fill my collection, my in my empty gaps in it, I will definitely get the stuff. Oh there. yeah. Oh yeah. They also sell like or deal more, with more memorabilia. Yeah. Kind of M coins, m old money. Yes. Like he he showed me this can of Sunday syrup. I took a picture <laughs> of it. I will pop it up for you guys from the 1930s, yeah. and I was like, what the heck? Yeah, But he like gets crazy stuff crazy like that stuff in there, and in I, there, I yeah. love looking at it. Yep. You have also gotten some of your things, your standees, not standees, but like little figures, vinyl. Oh, yeah, in a yeah. previous videos there, I picked yeah. up, uh, I might have picked up the Hulk and thing. Both, yes, I both think there. you did. He's got some toys, not a lot of toys, but no. he does have a few toys. He gets toys right? every yeah. now and again, yeah. Anyway. Really look forward to going there every Saturday. We do. On days we week. don't make it there on time. For whatever reason, we've started out late on a Saturday. Yeah. I feel bummed we can't make it there because I'm like, huh. <laughs> like, uh, not just because I can't see them, but I also really, like we said, we like supporting small businesses. We like going there. Yep. 
that's what keeps the economy running. Like when small businesses, when all this hit, and I honestly really worried about those small businesses. So we did make sure to support our Absolutely. small businesses in town. A few places we know we go all the time. We're like, okay, if they're doing curbside pickup, yep. we're there. And speaking of that, um, this is not a game store, video game store, but they have uh, board games and comic books. Another place we always hit on Saturday is yeah. Comic Hunter. Right after Moncton Pond. Yeah. We all kind of hit in one direction. Yeah. And yeah, uh, we hit Spin It. Yep. And then we then, it's basically almost in the same building. Oh, they're building. in the same parking lot. So like, Spin It deals yeah. with a lot of like, you can go in there and see arcade machines. You can see records they have. It's, oh yeah! It's, it's a Movies. still a you movie can rent. rental place. You can rent. And you can buy Blu-rays. You can buy. You, they have VHS. They there. have you VHS can buy. sometimes. They yeah. They have a whole whack of old toys, and oh. I've bought lots of old toys. Records, there. tons and tons, tons of records. Tons of records, CDs. Yep. Like, I, it would take me a long time to get through. And like, Dennis, Dennis will tell me he likes to go in. And he could walk around for an hour just looking it at stuff. It just feels like reliving mm -hmm. yeah. your childhood when yep. you go in there. So you, it's they've got a little bit of everything yep. retro. Yep. Like it's it's amazing. And we talk with a lot of the people in there too. Uh, again, super friendly. But I, I think if anybody's watching, they're like, well, yeah, you're from Canada. Like everybody's friendly in Canada. Yeah, but Atlantic. Not Canada, everybody. Not yeah. everybody. But Atlantic Canada, I think it's just more small town values. We're not, we don't live in big cities here. Moncton is a bigger city in New Brunswick compared to, say, like Bathurst or Miramichi. Yes, yes, it, yes. So when people are like, we're going to go to the big city of Moncton and like a hundred and some thousand people, <laughs> we're not that big. We're not that big a city, but we like it like so, that. Yeah. It's awesome. After a spin it, we just walk right over get into uh, Com Comic Hunter. Oh yeah. I have a file there. I have certain comics. As soon as they come in, they go into my file. I yep. can pick them up. I go check it, see what's on the shelf. They also have a ton of board games. They do. They also they have do. toys. They have statues. I've actually bought my yes. Hulk statue Oh there. yeah. Um, yeah, I, they've got a ton of stuff there too. It's There's a lot of like stuff that we don't even do like the, the magic card games yes. and stuff like that. I wonder how that's working now because they used to have like used nights have where events. everybody could go and like... I don't think like, they can do that I now. know and oh. it sucks. I love going there. It's mm -hmm. again like one of my... Every place we go, we go for a reason. <clears throat> and the owner's amazing. He, his brother also works there. I talk to Jen. I'm Jen. She's Jen. a Jen. We talk. <laughs> that but, can be only one. <laughs> But I love them there. They're so awesome. Like, I never not walk in there. You just feel at home. You know what? I'm going to tell you right now. I was doing a lot of this running around years ago by myself before Jen got into mm -hmm. the video game stuff. And she would come once in a while and, like, a comic hunter, and she'd walk in around. But now, like, she's, like, big hardcore into her board games, oh Mansions of Madness, and there's a good. Hardcore guy, board game guy, and he talks to you like I have. I'm waiting for her to get it. I store. know. Every place we go, she talks. I'm looking, and then I'll put my little comment in. But when I was going by myself, this is not a face that people automatically want to talk to. <laughs> so I would go for years and not really say a whole lot of anything. And then uh, she's a, a social butterfly there that makes friends everywhere. I do. <laughs> I do. After Comic Hunter we, is our last stop, and our last stop is almost always, always flying local boats. brewery, Flying Boats. Don't look at my glass. I'm not drinking a Flying Boats, She's and I can drinking feel a, a, a competitor's beer, a local competitor's beer. Is it? I it, thought you were drinking my stuff. Shame on you. No, I'm drinking a local competitor's so, beer. Anyway, we have tried a bunch of different local breweries to mm -hmm. sit down, and but uh, Flying Boats is just just us. You know, it it's is. got the atmosphere. It's got the best beer in town. D yeah. My opinion, I'm Our sure opinion. a lot of people exactly. don't like it there, maybe because a lot of the beers are a little bit on the bitter side, mm -hmm. but they do have options for rattlers or He's wines. an amazing brewmaster. He yep. has studied his craft 
and he was trained over, in overseas yeah, there yeah. was it germany or someplace something telling me a story there one yeah time. we went for that. a brewery tour there and yep. it was free you could go for a brewery tour, a brewery tour. and we were there anyway <laughs> exactly give us your tour but yeah. he was he's so knowledgeable in yep. what he does and he is there every day too yep. i love an owner He's an owner that, that also works there. Yes. His daughter works there. His wife was and there. His, the wife, other... his, his, wife, his wife and yeah. him were man in the bar at the time. Yeah, so. yeah, it was. was I, I love going there and I love talking to them too. Yeah. They've got great beer. Like, oh, I love, I love. We I have love so beer. many fun stories from there. Mm -hmm. And we never go and, ha like, we usually have one or two beer. Yeah, and it's at the end of our trip. We have a couple beer, and then we head home. And once we get home, we grab either a bite play to games eat or talk and, to you guys. Yeah, and then we sit down and play games with us. Yeah, yeah which is what so I'm gonna do today. Let's just rip through the games that we picked up on our trip. There are okay. there's a lot of. Can I talk about this first? Yes. I'm, I'm worried this, this is gonna get lengthy. Yeah, go right ahead. Okay. Talk about that. This is near and dear to my heart. Mansions of Madness. Scott got me this board game. It'll be two years ago this Christmas coming up. And I honestly thought, oh, for the love of God, I'm not going to be able to learn this. Like, I'm going to need to take some sort of. I don't of, even like, know how I got on that. I, you, I know you love board games, and I was like, how? I'm going to pick it a board game. And you hopefully wanted to she... share my love. You wanted to love board games with me, and to me, a board. Yes, you did. You <laughs> wanted to. I think you wanted to like. Uh, well, you... I wanted to find something that we both could enjoy together. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh. This is like a horror-based board game. Well, I love horror or anything, and I love board games. And board games to me in the past were Pictionary, Monopoly, stuff like that. Uh, hello, no, these are board games. These are board games. And this is a blister pack from the first expansion, Season of the Witch. But, but, I have, I have to say this now, and this is why I said it was going to be a little bit lengthy. I have every expansion from the yeah, second edition you have every every you have the the entire collection i i got lucky enough it down. i got lucky enough to get suppressed memories which is the most expensive one to get which <sighs> goes quite frequently between five and six hundred dollars this time last summer we were just walking and randomly walked by gamezilla which is not really a normal stop no us, it's not and walked no, by us and let's just go in for the hell of it and i found for sixty some dollars plus ten percent off retail price, I got this game for ten percent of what it's selling for right now. Because yeah. it sells no problem around the six hundred dollar <laughs> mark Canadian. So I'm I was missing one. I was you missing. You want to do a video just dedicated I am. to this, so don't I will don't be. get too into detail because yes. we're gonna do another video. But I got my last one and I will do a video on that. And I'm just like I'm over the moon. I felt bad I spent that much money, but I saved on the other one. I shouldn't have gotten for Balance that deal. Out. So I'm just going to rip through these games. Um, yeah, I think that's a good idea. There's a handful that are in the bulk bin. That, cause I love yeah, my bulk bin. If I can did. get a game in the bulk bin there and I can throw it in and kill a couple of hours, I mean, what's $2? Yeah. You know? I'm just going to start ripping through these. We got Blood Rain number one on the PS2. Now, I've never played it on the PS2. The first time I played through it, there was on the original Xbox. Yeah. And I still cannot find number two for a oh. complete copy. We'll find it. Yeah. I mean, I can get it on eBay, but there was one in town, but they didn't have the manual, and I keep passing on it. How dare you. I know. Nano Breaker. I don't know a whole lot about it. I think it's kind of a hack and slash beat em up. Looks like it. On PS2. So. Nano Breaker. Nano Breaker. Breaking Miles. Nanos. Okay, I'll just, these were some bulk bin items there. Yeah. I got the Getaway and I got DT Racer. Um, DT Racer, Thanks, I, Kay. Kay Gillis, Thanks. I thought Kay Gillis wrote on the plastic part of it. No, they wrote on the artwork, asshole. I'm blaming <laughs> Kay Gillis's mom. That looks like a mom situation. Or you don't want your little brother to yeah. take it, so you write your name on it. That so one of those. These ones here, I'll definitely mention because when we were at the parlor uh, yesterday, we were like, "Oh, you have 300 games. We're gonna come back later." And we came. When that we came back that. later, uh, I got the three Transformers games. Now, mm -hmm. 
Revenge of the Fallen, I don't know how they are. I haven't actually played any of these ones. And Dark Side of the Moon, like, I don't really know. This is the one, Fall of Cybertron is the one I'm really interested in. That's the one I really want to play. Let me know in the comments there. Maybe they're yeah. all good, maybe they all suck. I don't know, but that's the one I'm really interested in. These were also in the bulk bin. We have Tony Hawk Ride. I have arcade, Xbox Live Arcade. I, it's just a bunch of arcade That'll games. just be fun to pick up and play whenever like, you're not being, you're not well, wanting to get too immersed into anything, yeah. but you just want to have a little bit of fun. Yeah. That's a great game. I, uh, I like when, like we've done it before when we had Dennis here and we just, oh, what do you want to do? I don't know. Let's just grab a game off the shelf I haven't played. Mm -hmm. Throw it in. We'll try it out and see if it sucks or not. <laughs> yep. This one here is sealed. Destiny. <laughs> I've actually heard a lot of bad things about Destiny, but it was two dollars. I said, "The hell with it! I'm gonna try it." Exactly. And two bucks. I'll give it a roll. Two bucks. Yep. Now. Can't get I, a coffee for two bucks. No, you can't. I have my. I have a 3DS game here, The Legend of Zelda: Majora's Mask 3D. Um, I have not played the one on the N64. I don't know how this one would compare to it. I don't have the one on the N64, also. So, let me know in the comments there. If yeah. this is, sometimes you can get a better version. Like I think uh, Phil told me Chrono Trigger on the DS was a really good version to play. Yeah. I don't have it yet, but I got Quake 2 on the PS1. That's going to be, I don't know what I could tell you. It's very, it's first person shooter run around. You know when you're playing Bendy, that first person yes. view? Yeah, you're just, yeah. just start running and gun and I haven't tried that one yet, but. This one I've been looking for for a while. The uh, God of War Saga Collection there. It's got five games on it. Got it for a really good price in town compared mm -hmm. to what it would cost me on eBay. Nice. I'm going to get rid of these bulk bulk bin stuff right off the bat here. Okay. Is, they're probably not that great of games and nobody cares about them. Oh. So, I have a Toka Race Driver 2. For the second time. Yeah. Is it? Yes, this is, is this not the No, one? you told me that yes, we have in our collection, but I came down here and I looked through the collection. I oh, do not have okay. it. Oh, okay. I lied. Yes. I also have Star Wars The Force Unleashed for the Wii. I basically got that out of the bulk bin so I can steal the case to put in the more expensive game that we have. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have the uh, Brothers in Arms Earned in Blood for Why is PS2. it I want to go Brothers in Arms? Brother. I don't know. I want to be all Hogan. Okay, so. We'll just rip them out. Got some PS3 games here. We got XCOM, Enemy Unknown, Borderlands 2. Everybody knows that. Played it. It's pretty good. I actually have it on two different consoles now. Full Auto 2 Battle Lines. I. I'm not sure. I think I may have seen a video on that and uh, may have been like a Metal Jesus because Metal Jesus loves his racing games. I can't remember, but I, I looked at it and I'm like, I, for some reason, I think that's pretty decent. Big racing Me? fan. No, but. Because I suck at them, though. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm fine with saying that. Yeah. I'm just not great at them. I know this one for sure I seen on a Metal Jesus video because it's the. It's Haze and he wasn't all that impressed with it, but I got it for putting a bunch of nothing. I wanted to try it. Now, Spider-Man Edge of Time. Got it for a great price. Well, who cares? Got it for a great price. Let's there talk are about that one a couple of oh, okay. A couple, there are a couple other ones. I have just I have the Spider-Man. There's uh, Spider-Man Edge of Time. There's also like uh, I think it's Shattered Dimensions. There might even be another one there. I oh wanna, my God! I, I believe you. Yeah, I know, right? Right. Uh, the Suffering, Ties That Bind Us, there's the sequel to Hopefully the first one. Hopefully playing this game doesn't make you feel like Horror. you're suffering. Well, I think you would like this one. You gotta I play the first would. one first there. It's kind of a horror, survival horror shoot em up kind of game. Games. And then this, this one here really caught my eye. Velvet Assassin. I, it just, I don't know what it... Do you know I, why it was, caught his eye? Oh, the ass, probably, yeah. Probably yeah, the ass. Probably the ass. <laughs> We're just being honest. We're just being real. This one here, I can never. Project never... Silphied. Yeah, I can't pronounce that. I anyway, think that's it's one of those uh, only on Xbox 360, so 
I like picking up that stuff that's exclusive. Or, or Phil will correct on it, and it's probably Project Ifeed, and we didn't pronounce it right. Or it's Japan, yeah. from Japan. We don't know, we don't know. Hmm? What, Ghost of Tsushima? Tsushima. Tsushima. I think I actually I'm got that right. Where'd it go? Blade X. Yeah, another cover that probably made him buy the game. It's kind of got like a tattoo there. That... Like a reverse tramp stamp, but on your belly. How was that called? I... Treasure Trail. <laughs> Treasure Trail tramp stamp. New fad. All right. <laughs> Fractured. Fractured looks pretty good on the back. It I, does. I don't know if it actually got good reviews or not. Um, but I'm gonna try it out. Yeah. And we have the Devil May Cry HD Collection for the Xbox 360. Mm -hmm. I, I've only played the first two Devil May Cries. I may have tinkered and like tried a couple of the other ones there, but uh, I definitely want to try that. It's I did, I grabbed these ones because yes, I do have the PS2 version. Yeah. I throw it in, but if I can get it in HD with my wireless controller, oh, yeah. I'm gonna try that. Hopefully it play, plays well in the rest of the system. Oh. This one here is Jen's pick. You can't play this on me at all. I got all. this for Dennis! Bullshit. <laughs> I, okay. I can't even pronounce this. Akiba's Trip. Trip? No, it's Akiba's Trip. Akiba Strip. Okay. I think that's kind of a play on words. Yeah. Basically, it says it's something about your uh, you're you're fighting the undead or something, aren't you? And but did you see taking off their clothes or yeah, something? Yeah, it says Akiba's like that. trip undead and undressed. Woo woo! Yeah. <sighs> so I don't know. Like, there's so many people in our underwear. Can't go wrong. Japanese games, eh? Yeah. I don't know. Dennis really wants to play this now. I'm sure of it. I don't know if anybody gets down to their birthday suit, but underwear for shizzle. Maybe some DLC card. <laughs> Either way, these sorts of games, I'm like, oh yeah, it's going to go up in value. It probably if the, will. If the oh, internet... My ice machine. <laughs> my ice machine, yeah. If the internet goes down and there's no access to stuff... To pour. People may, people may play it. You, you don't know. <laughs> I'm interested <laughs> to try it, to be like, quite honest with you. I think you piqued my interest. <laughs> but via my explanation, I'm amazing. <laughs> what I do. All right, so that's the end. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching our regular Saturday routine. Saturday yeah. Saturday morning. Yeah. Our Saturday morning special. <laughs> yeah. This is basically what we do. If you if you are from Moncton and you watch our channel and you see us out and about, say hi. please say hi. That's and if, awesome. if there are some places that we haven't mentioned that are good for picking up some games, and throw in the comments because yeah. uh, I'm always on the lookout for someplace new. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'll make a new friend. I'll, I'll talk to some people. Like, yes. it don't matter. Yes, you will. I will. All right, guys. Until, Until next. next time. Game on. You look confused the entire time. The entire? No, just at the end. <laughs>